Okay. Uh, six deck blackjack dealer stands on all 17. No surrender. Blackjack pays three to two. Two number five for the ace five counting system as developed by the Wizard of Odds. Uh, oops. 50 units for each side playing on the same um, same hand right here starts a base bet of one unit for the ace five flat betting will always be single unit count increases whenever you see a five this is a burn card uh, count goes down every time an ace shows. Uh, if the count is greater than or equal to two, you double the bet up to your maximum, which we're using as 16. Uh, and every time the count is less than or equal to one, you revert to the base bet following basic strategy. Oops. There we go. And uh, I'm going to keep a tally of how many aces and fives we see. Um, to kind of get a sense of, you know, will you be able to work your way will, will, uh, out of the count? Um, meaning, if you get very far negative or or very uh, far into the positive, will it does there will there come a point when it just isn't likely uh, that you'll you'll work your way back up? Let's say you're you know down by uh, count is minus six. Will you find a way to get your count, you know, back up to two or more? Um, and if you do, or, or, or if, if you don't think that that's likely, let's say you, you've used up all of the fives, should you stop playing uh, at that point for that shoe and wait for the next shoe to start? That's something I was contemplating on the last shoe, shoe number four. So, so here, here we had the count go up by one, and then count went back down by one, so the count's still at zero. That's a 20. 15, 25. Okay, so we'll just keep track and see how that may, you know, we'll just see where it goes. The last couple shoes, um, what got me thinking about that was the, the count got stuck in the negative and was, you know, starting to wonder, gosh, should we just stop playing because the shoe is, you know, not strong? Uh, in our favor at this point. All right, sorry. Anyways, uh, 10 will double down to a nine. Single card, 15. Oh, let's get that right away. Fifteen. Get that right away too. 16, too many, 26. Uh, I am keeping track of the count on a piece of paper over here. I just, every time we get a, uh, it's like a running number. Every time we, there's, a, there's a five, I'll, you know, I'll go from zero, then the next line I'll write one, then I'll write two. If, if we get an ace, I'll just start working it down. So I can kind of see a bit of the history. Oops, let me take your prior wagers out of there and make sure we have enough room to keep them separate um but like you know i'm also going to have a I have a separate tally little chicken scratches keeping track of the aces and the fives that come out so if there's another ace puts our count at negative one uh doing an ace check right here it's not there uh you hit soft 17 to a dealer 10 that will give you a 13 15, you're going to keep hitting. 19? Yes, 19. 17. So, a lot of people don't like to do that. You would have pushed. You turned your push into a win. Perhaps a little stressful taking all those cards. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm keeping track on a sheet of paper. In the casino, most likely they're not going to let you do that. So you're going to have to keep track in your head and as I've kind of been mentioning uh, that is 16 you hit again and 19 18 uh, that 
because you only adjust the count when you see aces and fives, you can go for a little while without seeing that. And so you're going to have to keep track uh, as you're going along. Now, that, that might sound easy. I'll get that five there in a second. And um, But, you know, when you consider that other counting systems, I, I, would, I would guess that every single hand you're going to be adjusting the count. Um, so there's another five. And so you're going to be, you know, right on top of it, you know, minus three, two, uh, you know, uh, minus one, zero, all, all in the same hand as, as the cards come out. Here, it's not going to happen very often, so you're going to have to remember while a lot of other numbers get called out, you know, seven, 17, 21, and, and, you're, and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to need a four or, or whatever it might be, and you have to remember what your count is. So if you do you remember what the count is, count was negative one, now it's zero. So uh, you need to hit. And you be quiet before I start screwing up. 13 hits again, 23, 17. See, a lot of numbers get called out, right? and that's why the dealers um, will do that. It's, it's plus, I think, just to inform you of, of, of what things are, but it, it makes it a little harder for counters. It is one more bit of static that you have to try to filter out. 20 stands, 13, 23. Thirteen. Nine. Let's take care of that. Nineteen. No, I don't need to check for the ace, because uh, that's 17. I'm not going to hit that anyways. 14, 24. Did I mention I keep track of the number of hands? This is hand 9. Okay. 20 stands. Oh, 21. And that changes the count again. Are you keeping track? I am. Don't worry. I'm not going to tell you right away, just so if you're watching, you can try to practice a little bit, keeping track of what the count is. Let's do the ace check. Nope. 9, 19, 12, 22. All right, so that's 10, so I kind of... As I'm dealing, I set the cards aside, um, and then I pick them up every 10. Pair of nines, will we get a chance to split them? I believe we will. Oh yeah. That goes there. These go here. We'll do this one first. Doesn't really matter which. 19, that's good, right? How about this one? 17, you're good with that, right? 13, 20. That's no good. Well, there's another 5, so now we will be changing our count. I got it. There you keep in track. And uh, 11, we're going to double down on that, of course. Let's do it this way because I think it's more fun. 13, 23. You only show, really need to see this card if you if the, if the, the, uh, if the dealer had a playable hand, which he, he didn't. But we need to look because we are keeping track. We're counting. And you have a 21. Let's see if we will get to start into the betting progression on this shoe. So we haven't for the last couple. 14, 24. So basically the last couple shoes, the Ace-5 system has just ended up being 
um, a flat bet, the whole thing. Now, the other bit of information that we were getting was that, you know, we, we had to count, I think, down to minus eight at one point, at which means you're going to need eight fives to get back just to zero and then two more. So you need ten uh, fives to come out without seeing any aces in order to get into the betting progression. And that's when I started thinking, gosh, is there at some point where it gets so negative um, and, and you don't and there's and there's no no fives left or a few fives, which is why I'm now keeping track that you don't want to play that shoe anymore. According it, I mean, it, other counters might say no, it's still good, but as far as you know, it, from the ace five perspective, twelve, fifteen, twenty five. Uh, from the ace five perspective, is it is it not worth playing anymore? So right now, including the one that's up after 14 hands, this is why I set the, the, the chips out like this. You're up seven, both sides up seven. Oh, now there's an ace. So uh, we were getting close on to our greater than or equal to two count threshold. That should give you a hint of what it was at. Um, and of course, then we, we lost it or we got set back. But then that puts us right back to where we had been. And a soft 16, you doubled that to a 6. They'll, they'll do that all day, right? Again, I'm going to put it down because it's fun. 16, 26. But we are going to have to take a look. Maybe we got a 5, right? We did not. That makes you real nervous, right? We've got so much room to work here, so. Oh, there's a five. Now, again, in the casino, what you doing? Um, don't get all excited when you see these fives come up and you and you get your count. Just, I know I do it, but trying to have some fun. Uh, 19, nine, there goes our count again. 14, well, I gotta put it in my tally too. One more thing to, for me to do, 14, 24. Okay, so our count, I'm gonna test you here if you've been keeping up. Our count is now a positive three. Okay, is that is that coincide with what you had? Um, so now we start to, to double our wager for the ace five side over here. So now we went from one to two. Um, you know, the, the wizard says, you know, you can some limit, 8, 16, 32, whatever you, whatever you want, uh, just, and, and I chose 16 because it was in the middle of what he said, 8, 16, 32. Make sense? All right, so there goes our count going up again. I'm not going to remind you. I, I probably won't say anything until it's time to change it. Again, to give you, if you're, if you're interested in this system, an opportunity to kind of practice it, but then they, you'll know, get a little bit of crib notes every once in a while to help you out. Make sure you're on track. Anyway, 7, 17, 16, 26. All right, so it, it now it, it doesn't matter win or lose, the, the bets double up until you get uh, to your threshold. So basically now uh, on, on the positive progression, we are um, just basically pressing. Uh, on the negative, it becomes kind of a martingale kind of thing. Okay? 20, 7, 7 and 14, 19, there's another 5. This brings our count up another notch. Um, what was this? 19? So I, I got pay you. Um, get one there. You got, that's four. So I give you one, five, take one. Okay. It'll work. And because you're just going to press that anyways. And I ran out of white chips because you have them all. So now you're up to eight. Oh, well, there's an ace. I'll, I'll I'll track that in a second. I'm going to put that down for right now. And 
an ace, and that changes our count. Uh, when we get to the next, um, what's it called? Uh, if we get the count all the way worked back down, I'll start to mention, uh, I'll, I'll let you know how many aces and fives uh, we've seen. There's no ace under here. Let's see if I painted you there. Oh, I did not, but another ace, which makes sense in... In, this, in a way, well, I'm going to tell you right now, because we've seen ten fives and six aces, okay? So it, there's more aces than fives, which is why it's supposed to be in your favor, because not necessarily for split aces, but you have more opportunities to get um, uh, blackjacks. And the reason that, and, and, you know, and fives are kind of a crappy card to draw usually although you know when you have a 16 a 5 is, is a wonderful thing anyway single card here on each uh, 18 no extra card no I'm not you can't split you cannot resplit aces oh now let me however before I distract myself too much get back to this so working on our on our count um, oh shit I went the wrong no, no, I'm good, I'm good. I got it, I got it. Anyways, okay, well, I'm all set. 16, you love that, right? Now what you don't want to see is a 5, but we know we've used up 10 of the 5s, and there are 24 in the deck, so it still could be a 5, but it's not. And that's a nice win. Um, I am going to, let me pay the flat. And between these two is, uh, I'm going to need change. So, who wants to give me this? Well, let's see. So that's eight. Um, take these out of here first. I need to give you 16. I know it's a little unorthodox. So, I'm going to give you 20 and take four. Got it? Okay. And I'll fix that up, don't worry. Um, reset this one. And you're going to... Now I'm not able to keep track. I can just tell you that you're up quite a bit. Um, so now you're up to our max wager of 16. Okay? Now you got a, you know, you got extra payment there too. You would have done this anyways, but this time you got to pocket uh, an extra 8. Okay, we good? Fourteen. Twenty-four. Fourteen. Now, this is where the Ace-5 uh, betting progression gets a little different. In, you know, usually positive and, or, or negative, whenever you either win or lose when you're in your progression, you go back to single unit. Not here. Uh, not when you're using at least this counting system. Um, oh, sorry. It should be 16. Um, because, just because you lost that one hand doesn't change the fact that the, the count is still in your favor. So you want to keep your wager high. I'll tell you one thing. Your count just changed back to below your threshold, so that you count is now one, which is too low uh, for maintaining it. So when this hand is over, you'll reset this wager down to a single unit, unless your count changes again, which it just did, back to a positive two, right there, and it changed again, <laughs> uh, 16. Could change again, and it won't. 16, 18. Okay, so um, that goes there, and payment oops, of 16 over here. However, after all of that, the count now is back down um, below, well, not it's below 2, or it, it's, it's 
it's less than or equal to 1. So we are resetting this wager down to a single unit. I'm just messing with you chips here. You are up, um, thir including the one that's out here, 32, including the one that's out here by 14. Okay? So it's, it's, things are working. Now and there's another ace, which, you know, maybe we expect. So now the count is even at zero. And so is, which makes sense because so is the card count. Uh, or the, the count of aces and fives. We've seen ten aces, we've seen ten fives. Okay. And I know I'm talking a little bit more in this one than I usually do, but because we added this keeping the tally. So I'm going to tone it down before I get myself confused. Now I think we just, just so we understand where we are. Time and a half. Thirteen. Wager stay single unit until we get our count back to two or greater. 20, 13, 20, push. I'll catch that five. I'm not gonna let you know, you're just gonna have to keep track. Okay. The nine, you're just gonna hit that to a dealer eight. That's probably why, giving you 16. See, now you want a five. Nope, double five. Nope, insurance, hold on, let me, let me do it the right way. Insurance, insurance closed. You don't take insurance. You're not, you, you don't need insurance. 4, 14, 14, 17. Changing our count. Anyway, seven. Sorry about that. I was just looking at the tally. Nine, 17, 13, 21. Oh, that eight. At least it wasn't the eight of spades. The eight of clubs. Can't trust the eight of clubs. Deuces. Oh. Yeah, let's put those to a six. Put just about anything to a six. Maybe not tens. Do this one first. Seven. Can I fix the count? Nope, oh, I gotta put it in my tally. Yeah. It's harder to, than it than it might seem. And a lot of this is harder than a lot of people seem. People like to pick on me for mistakes. Seventeen. But it's a little confusing sometimes. Nine. Oh, double down. That one's for you and that one's for you. Yeah, I like that. 13. 23. Okay, that's one, two, there, and hold on. You're taking up all my chips. Gosh, you took all my reds, even. Really? Change, please. Change, please. Okay. You know, you know you're doing doing well. What did he have here, anyways? Um, when the house needs to get more money from the cage. Okay, so there and there. Let's clean these up. Got so many chips, you can't even count them now. All right, now our count has worked its way back to two for the ace five. So that's doubling the wagers now until the count changes or, or we hit our maximum so that's 
That's cool. Oh, man, see, that's going to do it. Put us back down. Uh, insurance, insurance closed. Uh, at least you didn't get the count worked way up before you started losing like that. So, you know, bet just goes back down to single unit. Let's do it again. That's going to put our count even at zero. Um, well, well, now we're going to change it again, huh? That puts count back to, well, you keep track. Um, I'll tell you, we've seen about half of the aces and a couple more than half of the fives. So there's still plenty of cards, and we're about, where, where are we? This is hand 29, so we're about two-thirds of the way in. Anyway, soft 16 doubling to a 4. Nine. There's, a, there's another one of those things. Sixteen. Seventeen. Now we got to see it, right? Nineteen. All right. So at the end of the day, you are not going to get to. Uh, modulate the bet. There's a little something happened to this card there. It's alright. You can't really see it on this side. Um, you can't see it. Well, yeah, in the right light I can see it. It doesn't really matter because it doesn't help you to know what the next card is. And it might be time for some new cards, though. I haven't switched them out for quite a while. We're getting to be a mess of chips over here. Getting all my whites. Um, anyways, counts, count is at the point where we just put this back at a single unit. Do you remember what it is? The count changes. Again, 13 will stand to a 5. 8. Another 5. Count changes again. Uh, 13 to 13, 23 on hand number 30 there. Which, with, well, now our count has worked back up to a positive 3. So we've seen, what is that, 13 aces and, uh, 17 fives. So there should be four more aces than fives. Count is three. So you're doubling your bets. You got and you got it about probably a dozen hands at least to go to to work this out. Uh, ten just hits. Or you know, to, to keep your count going up. Uh, 14, or your, your wagers are going up, 14, 24, 20, 8 spades, everybody's favorite YouTube channel, right, uh, 18, 10, 17, oh, you know what I forgot to do, uh, I forgot to keep your bet up at 2, but you know, we're the, one of those casinos where even though you meant, when you meant to bet more, we'll let you put it up after the fact. In which case you meant to bet, you know, 500, the max, right? It works the other way too, those times when you forget to bet properly. Uh, I also take your extra chips. Not really extra chips, the chips you should have wagered. Um, yeah. Well, I guess we're going to have to look. Soft 14. Just hit. Hard 14. Hit again. 17. 13. 18. 
And that's going to keep our count in above the the progression threshold. Is that what we're going to call it? Um, one thing I just did right there was, you know, the four that you lost I set here to help me remember where we were. Um, normally, that's going to be on you to keep track of not only the count but what you're what, where you are in the in the betting progression 13 13 20 I'm going to do that little thing again for myself you shouldn't need to it shouldn't be that hard for you uh, you know as the player you don't have as many things to keep track of as, as I do I got two players I got the, the dealer I got the, the chips And now you're up at your at your max of 16. Time to capitalize before you give it all back. You were doing really well. Uh, 17, 15, 17. Push. The uh, the system as published does not give any specifications on what to do for splits, double downs, or pushes. Um, it, in the multiple wins from splits or double down doesn't or from from losses is just you know you you just lost but my question would be you're supposed to double your wager are you supposed to double your entire wager your doubled wager uh, on double down situations or just your base wager uh, i'm going to guess that it's just the base wager 20 14 17 and now you can start eating up all the dealer's chips again Splash, oops, splash that out so you can see that I pay you properly. We're an honest house here. And you're just going to stay up here at 16. There's another change to the count. This is a very good shoe. For even, for, even for the flat better. The flat better uh, is up uh, 15, 17, 18 and a half, I believe. That's, that's a pretty strong shoe. Coupled with the fact that it's, um, you know, working in the count. So this, this is a really good shoe. So I can't tell how much you're up, but you had a little rough spot there. So it's not up uh, maybe as much as, as it could again. At least uh, you're, you're down off your high for sure. 14, 15, let's fix the count and the tally. Uh, that's, that's trickier than it seems for me to keep track of both the count and the tally because I just just got to train myself. Uh, 15. Yeah. What does that give you? 20? 30? 20 push. Yes, push. But our count is still pretty solid, keeping your wager at 16 here. Speaking of 16, I gave you a 16, which you're going to hit. And that's no good. 18. You had to hit it. And again, unlike other progress progressive systems, you're going to not change your bet. You're going to, because the shoe should still be your friend here 15 12 22 16 now if you can go out I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this okay it's all the same uh, if you can go out at your max wager that that's a nice thing too but I mean is and end the shoe because okay? at the beginning of the next shoe you'll start with a base of zero. Now I don't think this is hand forty. There's there's and the count the count is four. There's no way that um, uh, the count is going to well okay. <laughs> very little probability that the count is going to go where you're going to reset that. So your odds are very good of going out on sixteen. You just need to win. Uh, Fourteen, twenty one, and that's how you're going to do it. Eighteen. I need change again. So I need that. 
Okay. Yeah. That's a mess, but we're almost at the end of the shoe, so let's just get out of it. All I did was give you change. Now I pay you. Like I said, that was hand 40. Do, do, do. Clean it up. Stack them up later. Seventeen, nineteen. Uh oh, you no, see, you're not supposed to do that now. Now you have to win every every hand. Sixteen. Doubling. Ooh, this is a big opportunity here. Keep it down. Oh well, let's just keep this going, keeping track. 4.14. Uh, we should be expecting aces, so this is this is fine. Uh, 5.15. 17. Dealer stands on all 17s. What do you got? 20. Very nice. So this is going to be 32. I'm actually starting to run low on all my chips here. This could be the best shoe ever. If you believe in that sort of thing. Anyways, you put all this away. That was really nice. Oops, I gotta bring that one back. And boom, that's it. I used to play this uh, last hand, but someone mentioned hey, they don't actually do that in the casino, so so stop doing that. Okay. All right, let's count them up real quick. Forty-two hands. Ten. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and a half. So you're up 20 and a half. Can't even do that. And over here... A lot. We'll just call it a lot. Fifty, there's your base. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 72 and a half. Wow, I'm not even gonna case. Okay. So 72 and a half, 42 hands. 20 and a half for the flat better. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.